Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where I have taken a bit of a break after having condemned three astronauts to oblivion thanks to my negligence and so I need a bit of a morale pause but I am back and we are going to continue to try and pick up the pieces though we didn't really face that much of a penalty after having failed so miserably so I'm not sure how that's going to shape up but yep it seems like we can just plug along. Uh, this week of course is uh, historically a week where things have gone wrong as far as space stuff. Uh, there's the anniversary of Apollo 1, the Challenger disaster, and the Columbia disaster. It's a pretty bad week for space things, but it is good to recognize that we must pick up the pieces and move on and continue to try our best. And so we will do that as I, I am apparently launching a commercial satellite imagery mission next month. So let's just go ahead and do that. And focus. We must focus. Okay. Would be more stylish if we had just one booster, just saying. Okay, bad conditions though. I'm just gonna continue with 89% launch reliability. Okay. And off it goes. Rain or shine. The Delta rocket can do it. Well, we, we got it in there. Alright. And continue. I guess I can auto resolve. I don't I've never even tried that. But, I mean, where's the fun, I guess? Okay, so we have the drift thing, which basically, I think, killed us with the crewed mission, so we better pay attention to that. Um, looks like we can get... Uh, we need five of those, ten of those, or those numbers. Uh, that will drift us one way. And... Um, to drift the other way, we need this one. We need the data. So... Let's do that. We drift to the side. We get data. We drift all the way back. And then we have a fourth slot. We can get extra nav. We have one more data. So we can parlay the data into two of the navs, one of the comms, and go back over to this side a bit. Okay, and that works. Ground control connection is okay. And that was fine, alright. So, we've already got the comms as necessary. We could float one more notch over to that side. Let's get some more data and straighten ourselves out. This is basically the ratio that we need in the end so that would be good well let's do that full and then next time we'll get some data and then do this one I think okay ooh that one failed but we have electric charge resist okay technically fulfilled but this is the last turn so I guess we're not gonna be able to get the bonus maybe let's see we can do two of these yeah, I mean, that's the best we can do on the nav. I guess I didn't plan very well here. Well, I'll get another power just to resist. We'll get what we can, I suppose. And our drift is fine overall. There's always a chance that we could get a bonus one, but I guess not. <laughs> All right, task complete. That was just achieving orbit. Then we have to deploy the satellite. It's like James Webb or something. The telescope, not the guy. <laughs> hmm, can we plan this a little bit better this time? We really need comms this time. That's very lucrative comms right there. We get three drift here and then two drift back like that. But... This gives us this way. Ooh, we have to be perfect, looks like. 
Well, we can get data and drift back. I think this is not optimal though. Ooh, that was very good. Extra data. And that was good. So we're swimming in data now. We need a little bit of nav in order to make use of this one. Okay, that keeps us steady. Barely made that one. Data transmission did not work, but we will resist. Hopefully... Oh, this one did not work. Now we can't resist. Okay, we are not drifting. We need power. Best thing to do is, uh, well, hmm, we need some of this, but that will drift us. We need six and five more there. It's not that big a reward, but you know. Uh, the problem is the drift right now. Yeah, that leaves us one drift off. It's not good. Okay, maybe I've got it here. So, we've got enough of those, we've got enough of those. We don't have enough power to resist at all, but we will not drift. But we have to be careful of that because two of these produce a drift. And also, we're using some resources, so if we don't get enough back, we will not be able to succeed. So, let's see, I think... We've got a chance here. Okay, that one did extra. Okay. Uh, we can't resist that. Okay, but at least we drift... Oh, we don't drift back. Oh, we do. Whew. Okay. Okay, I think we still got it. Okay, we still got it. Okay, and we got 50% bonus rewards. Lots of money. We're rolling in dough now. So, milestone challenge deadline. Milestone challenge deadline. What was, what was the challenge? Um, info. Oh, uh, it's up there. Complete space station before China. Okay. Well. Hmm. There's no way that's gonna happen. Skylab. Well, all right, but we're not gonna beat China in four months. But I guess we might as well try. And what about this Mars mission? Mars lander, view plan. Okay, Vesta, also expensive. Everything's expensive now. Space Station Campaign Proposal. Your PR team have proposed an educational campaign based around your upcoming Space Station mission. Part of the campaign will involve high school students submitting ideas for experiments to be carried out. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, we need good PR after our previous debacle. I guess. I mean, how many mission slots do we have? I think we're all full. We've got the Space Welding mission. That is dangerous. Well, mobile launch platform research complete. Which means we actually, we have to build it separately? Wow, 2.5 million? That reduces vehicle build cost though. That's a huge upfront cost to reduce the vehicle build cost. I mean, to recoup that, we'd have to launch vehicles totaling 25 million. And then there's the upkeep. I guess we should make the investment now? I mean, the sooner we make the mobile launch, launch platform investment, the better. But do we actually have to build it somewhere? Uh, well, I guess it would make sense for them to be close to... something. That's 4 million over there. It's 3 million over here. I think we better wait. Otherwise, I won't be able to launch the missions that we're already in plan uh, are already in planning. Okay, research. They got dro docking training facility all the way down there. That is expensive too. Lots of Mars expertise though. But that's a ways away. 
These don't give any Mars expertise. Even the neutral buoyancy lab doesn't give Mars expertise. Water sound suppression does, though. But we'd have to build it. I feel like the PR office might be good just so that we can get more money. So let's do that quickly. Okay, next month. Public flock to Hall of Fame. Very good. Yes, they will remember our astronauts. Well, it says China is launching space station in 22 months, so I don't know if we still can beat them or not. Um, we two milestone challenges. Well, oh, okay. Well, those are just general missions. Okay. The Soviets are doing what now? I think a commercial satellite. Soviet Union has approached my agency to offer their Saturn flyby research in return for a suitable donation. Um, oh, well, I mean, it's just a cash payment. It's not... I mean, yeah, why not? Let's just buy it. <laughs> okay, Vesta design vehicle. Mars landing definitely should increase our Mars... Readiness. I mean, really, it's either the Delta K or the Moon 9. Delta K is more expensive. Moon 9 is overdoing it and will make the launch vehicle more expensive. And it's less reliable. Let's just go with the Delta. Hey, that's fairly typical for launching a Mars lander, right? We could do Delta with boosters, or we could do Titan. We haven't launched a Titan. We should launch a Titan. That's just a straight stack Titan with no boosters. 80% launch reliability. And if we go with the Delta with two boosters, we get 87. Titan's actually more expensive. There's very little incentive to use the Titan. But, except for, I just want to use a Titan today, basically. <laughs> Uh, just to mix things up, uh, Moo is actually more expensive, so no good reason to use that. Alright. Titan for once. We've got some potential upgrades. Onboard cameras. No support penalty for failing mission. Well, I mean, we should be succeeding on the mission, darn it. Okay, confirm. Build. Skylab is complete. Okay, well, space welding vehicle is complete. Launch reliability 42%. 10% reduced launch reliability. Training will be of particular benefit on this mission. You have noted some issues with the vehicle's attitude control system. What is this, CST-100 or something? Yes, we lost three astronauts, so... Miyazaki is a new potential hire. Okamoto. Athlete. Comms specialist. Plus one comms, huh? I think we'll hire a comms specialist. Seems like a good hire. A longevity. More science reward with the scientist, of course. This one has a higher cost, higher salary, same science reward as this one. We might as well pick this one up. Support reward for a celebrity. Did we lose our celebrity? No, we still have one celebrity already, so we'll just stick to that. Uh, we need more launch reliability. Anybody else? We, we just need everybody to give us launch reliability at this point. Okay, test pilot, assign astronaut, and support reward. How about no penalty for support failure or something? Uh, start each task with plus... I, I'll just send one scientist since we have two of them. Let's send the more expensive salaried scientist that we just hired. Okay, training. I want launch reliability, because our base launch reliability is 47%, but at least the training bonus gives us plus 6%. A 
up to 30 percent so we'll delay well we have to delay anyway october and november aren't any good we'll delay to february to get the maximum bonus skylab a lot to be learned from skylab so yeah we'll be using the s4b we could apparently send uh, Skylab to the moon like this. Okay, yeah, just uh, send one B all together seems like the best deal. We barely have enough money. Better not have any meteorite shield breaking off or solar panels damaged or anything like that. Okay, well, we're running out of cash again. Funding review. Well, we got a little bit of extra. Not extra money, but extra support. Okay, Mars vehicle is complete. Uncrewed mission, training. Science training, launch training. Let's get a science bonus. 80% base launch reliability. Ooh, it's pretty bad overall. I don't know if there's any point completes in... Wow, wow. It's just... It's all bad. I guess... Suboptimal launch windows become suboptimal, it says. So this is as good as we're gonna get. Um, you know what? Back up, back up. I changed my mind. We want the launch reliability training. <laughs> yep. Because if it's gonna be like that. Okay, so... Let's go for April, and then we could beat everybody to it. If we have to delay it, I'll just improve our launch reliability training, but at least we'll get it to 78%. I was willing to go with 80, so... Okay, space welding. PR office research is complete. But let's do the space welding mission. Alright, let's try and launch. Um, bad conditions. We will wait. It is a crewed mission after all. Yes, to march. Okay, we need to pick a new research. Well, let's... Well, we actually get more Mars expertise for researching supplementary SRBs, so let's go with that. That's general use for anything, after all. Um, slap some SRBs on. The PR office, we should get... Oh, building... Oh, that's for just the uh, HQ. PR... Oh, it has to be so big? Uh... Wow, it really takes all the money to clear that stuff. I thought, you know, it was 500,000. So it wouldn't be that big. But apparently that's not how that works. I'll build it for now, but... Not too sure it's the best use of our very limited space. I wish, I wish there was an uh, option to increase how much land we have. Okay, space welding mission. Do we have better weather this time? Seems like it. Excellent conditions. Good to hear. Continuing. It's basically a Gemini spacecraft, but they have a launch escape system on it. Okay. Decent launch. Okay, achieving orbit. That should be given by now. Okay, so... Manual data collection. Wouldn't that give you data, though? Gives me comms instead. Get more comms because then we can use the comms and a person to get data. Okay. Okay, accept.
Aww. Okay, resist. Okay. So, using some comms to get data. At least we don't have the... the wobble to deal with. Some electricity, get all the things. And... Spend some of the other two to get more comms, because then we can spend the comms to get other things. It's complicated. It's like a vicious circle. Oh... Hey, that... just plug that back in. Nope. Extra. Okay, two turns remaining. We especially need the... Uh, navigation, but... There is a way to spend the data to get those two, so let's... First get five of these, then spend two data to get those. Okay. And... That's a bit of a risk. Let's just get power. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. So first... Let's get comms, and then... Let's get the nav. And that'll be everything. And we might as well get power for the last one, just in case something fails. Or everything fails. Okay. Alright, all good. We have achieved orbit. That was just achieving orbit. Then we have to conduct mission EVAs. Alright. Well... Let's put them to work first. Oh, well, now there's the drift. I don't want anything to do with the drift, but it might be unavoidable. Well, we're drifting one way a little bit. Oh, we're gonna have to resist that one. Okay, lots of data. We need lots of data. Well, we can drift back like this, so we can drift back using that. That gives us the data. It's tightest on the nav. We only ha can get two of those each turn. Okay. Wow, 1%? Jeez. Okay, two turns remaining. That way. I'll nail that one. And then, if we get more data to get that, we can spend that data to get two of those. And then, but we don't have any power to resist. Okay, well, we'll try it. That one's fine. One's fine. And that one's fine. Okay, we cleared. We just need two nav here. We need a little bit of power, do that, and we'll get more power to resist, to guarantee it, and that should be that. Drift is okay. Okay, that was su uh, superb. And we're done. And now re-entry, oh no. Oh no. Now a different dial to worry about with different rules and random fluctuations. Okay. The heating does not have random fluctuations in re-entry, by the way. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, anyway... Comms? We need a lot of comms. It's a little bit of data in nav.
We can't really... Wait, we can spin the nav, one point of nav, like that. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Uh, a resist. Oh, I should have paid down the heating. Shoot. Oh. Okay, we, we dodged a bullet there, I think. Okay, we need orbital realignment very quickly. Okay, that'll cool that down. Got 10 nav. We don't need 10 nav. Uh, okay. Cancel that one. Anything to spend the nav would be good. Okay. Oh, resist. And we have to resist again, so we're running out of power now. It's four, but it's only relevant at the very end. Okay, so we have to do some orbital realignment and accidentally get some nav. And then we need some more data. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, accidentally get some nav, but we need more of that. And the only way to get that is this one or that one. We'll spend some comms. We'll have to get some comms some other way. Probably just using our peoples. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, managed it. Uh, we'll have to resist that. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get the bonus. At least it was only one heat. I mean, those two we are in bonus territory for. We use that. We're just one off. But uh, we're not gonna be able to resist anything. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get that 15, I don't think. Just one off, though. We're trying our best. We're getting all the comms we can here. Well, let's recharge so that we can resist. But then, what about the heating? Hmm. We don't have enough heat to dissipate. <laughs> Great. Uh, fine. Okay. Now we can resist that. That one was... Oh, we got extra! We made it! And apparently we don't have to worry about the heat. Random heat. Okay. Got more Mars preparation. Our... Astronauts are recuperating. Successful crewed mission after the previous failure. Alright. Well, let's launch that Mars lander. EVA astronaut interviewed. A news program has interviewed astronaut Sakai Fuzuki. Fuzuki? Huh. Uh, about your agency's recent space welding mission, the astronaut told of a surreal moment when a spatula broke free and floated away into space. That was the thing, wasn't it? After it was used to apply heat-resistant gel to a heat shield. Your favorite spatula. Gained support. Okay, SRB research is complete. Alright, let's see about this Mars lander launch. Of course, it'll take six months or so to get there. Bad conditions. Well, um, I think we had a reschedule opportunity, didn't we? Yeah, let's just select that. We have one mission slot available, but I won't decide that until next time. Um, let's investigate more missions. We bought that Saturn flyby mission from the Soviets. I guess it wasn't that big a deal, but you know, I like Saturn. So, Mars expertise plus 2%, plus 1%, plus 1%, plus 1%. and then plus 1%. Well, shoot. I mean, we're going to have to do this whole business anyway in order to get down to here. 
well, one of these three we would have to do. Or, um, I might be reading that wrong, hold on. Oh yes, here is the choke point. No, no, that's just for those, though. Well, if you don't do it one of those, you can't get three here. You have to get three here, so you have to do one of those. In order to do one of those, you have to do these three, it says. So, we have to make sure we do unit. So, yeah, let's just do modular space station. Did we ever get the... We didn't even get the Era 2 stuff, because we've got some un, undone things there. Noting. Okay, let's try and launch that Mars lander. It's a light sprinkle. It's even worse conditions, 14%, jeez. Yeah, reschedule. Well, June's the last opportunity. Before it gets really bad. Come on, weather. Seems good to me. Alright, good conditions. Continue. Off goes our Titan rocket with a Delta upper stage. I like it. I like to think of it as a trans stage. It's fine. Sort of an overgrown Delta. Ooh, uh, positive effects. We get extra data. And level up on the Titan. Yeah, that looks like a very typical sort of thing for uh, for delivery to Mars. All right, so we want lots of thrust and navigation. Sense. Got some data. We need more data. Let's get more data right away. Bombs. It's essential for thrust. That's the only way we get thrust right here. Let's just get all the thrust. We gotta lose a little bit. Okay, we got an additional nav. Alright, so we got... Nope. Now, we've got the required thrust. Well, no we don't. We lost the one for... Okay. So, more nav, more power, but we can spend nav to get data and comms so that we can get thrust. Well, that's super good. Okay, now we just need to focus on the nav. We could just spend some of the data. And then we'll wait until the next turn to get the remainder. Yeah, let's just get sheer power and then we'll be able to get the remainder of the nav. Uh, well, but we want that too. We want the bonus. Hmm. Uh, we'll take a risk and get more data so that we can do that and aim for 15 there. Okay. Okay. That was good. That was not good. I'll just accept the downgrade. Uh, not another one. Fine. Last turn. I don't think with those two failures we're going to be able to get that one now. So... That satisfies that. Hmm... get that much. Oh, we can get that one. 
and that one. But everything has to work out right. <laughs> so, hmm. Oh, then everything did not work out right. Lack of resources. Well, no bonus, but we made it. So, Mars transfer trajectory for our Mars lander. And I think we'll wrap it up there. So, we've got another Mars mission on the way. And we dealt with a successful crewed mission this time. And we continue to work on things, including launching our space station. So, that space station thing completes in four months. And that mission is currently underway, and we'll see what mission I slot in in the final slot. We could do with more science, maybe. We'll see. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.